there's more than one reason to celebrate. Let's go on a journey. And count the ways as we take you to experience a different side of the world's cultures. Adventure awaits on Festivals of the World. Mystery Land No, it's not a land filled with mystery. It's an electronic dance music festival featuring the best DJs there are. This is Mystery Land which originated in the Netherlands. Its first edition was launched in 1993 and it has always been held at the Floriad Terrain in Harlemermeer since 2003. When the last weekend of August comes, you already know where to go. Mystery Land has been running for over two decades now. And there's a good reason why they've had more than 20 editions of this music festival. Mystery Land continues to bring EDM tastemakers from different parts of the world together. The festival intertwines the ideology peace, love and music of the popular Woodstock Music and Art Fair back in 1969 by letting music artists coming from different backgrounds to express themselves and their music at the festival at the same time focusing on sustainable practices and participation. See? Fun, free, and nature loving. Music lovers approve and Mother Nature approves. Thus, you should experience attending this festival at least once. One of the few words to describe Mystery Land? Jaw-dropping. Extravagance is the name of the game. You can see the grandeur of the stage setups. Huge designs, fireworks, and bright lights are all present for thousands of people to see and enjoy. The organizers clearly outdo themselves, don't they? It's too bad that this festival only lasts for two days, so do your best to make the most out of it. If you're going camping and it's better if you will, the gates will be open for you the day before the festival begins. It's a chance to meet other campers and make friends. The Mysteryland organizers would be very glad if you get along well with the other guests. Plus, the DJs are going to be playing EDM for two days so you cannot just chill or sleep in your tent while listening to the music far away. This is a festival full of adrenaline, so get to the music stage as near as you can and dance to the music. Don't be too conscious if you're not a good dancer, no one will mind. There are water bars all over the campsites and the festival grounds for free water. You can come back as often as you want. The festival organizers understand your need for rehydration and rejuvenation. After all that dancing and jumping to the music, bring your water containers and refresh yourself. Mysteryland is very lenient when it comes to self-expression, but leniency also has its limits. You're not allowed to show any private parts or wear anything provocative or offensive to others because remember, people from different parts of the world are visiting the Floriad terrain as well. It's possible to have a blast without acting too crazy, so let's keep it that way. This may be good news to some and bad news to others, but there is no electricity on the campsite. But don't panic because there are charging stations and portable chargers available, so you can upload those snaps and Instagram photos. Aside from that, there's no way you can use anything electric-powered useful. Instead of sulking about it, think about other fun things to do that don't need electricity. You can hang out with the other campers, play games, or try out the food offered in the stalls. 
It would be surprising how refreshing it feels not to have a screen in front of your face for once. There are also new Mysteryland editions that recently opened in Chile and the United States. You can attend the Chile edition on December and the U.S. on June. This way, you'd have more opportunities to attend Mysteryland. So, let's go to the Netherlands, Chile or the U.S. Or better yet, visit all of them and have the great weekend you deserve in Mysteryland. Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta Let's go on a unique festival adventure Like going up in the sky for instance Is there a festival that can make that happen? Of course there is! Come to Albuquerque, New Mexico in the United States For the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta It's only the biggest hot air balloon festival in the world and there's nothing like it. This one-of-a-kind experience lasts for nine days. It'd be definitely the most exhilarating nine days of your life, as you get to ride on a hot air balloon and get a clear shot of the entire state of New Mexico. There are about 500 air balloons afloat and they're really nice to look at. The balloons have different colors and patterns some even have the most unusual shapes, like a carriage and different animal shapes. On Thursday and Friday, the Balloon Fiesta has the Special Shapes Rodeo, where more peculiar air balloon shapes are going to be released. You should check out the balloons rising off the ground after what they call Dawn Patrol. Dawn Patrol checks the weather conditions and find out if it's safe to launch the balloons. A few hot air balloons take off the ground and it's like seeing a similar sight from the Yipeng and Pingxi festivals. Only that instead of lanterns, it's hot air balloons. However, if you want to see this takeoff, you'd have to be at the Balloon Fiesta Park at around 4 in the morning. You can't miss this because this only happens during very early mornings but you could always catch some sleep afterwards if you're not a 4 a.m. person. You can see hot air balloons take off up close. It's called mass ascension. Watch as each balloon, deflated at first, heated up by hot air, and then they take off like it's a huge piece of aerial art. During the mass ascension, the air balloons launch in two waves. You should stay at the Balloon Fiesta Park until nighttime because the balloons are more beautiful at night since they glow thanks to the propane burners. These balloons do not take up. They just stay on the ground for the people to see and admire. Feast your eyes on these balloons that look like giant lanterns or stars. You have the chance to ride an air balloon too. It's better to ride a balloon while the sky is still clear and have less balloons afloat so that you'd be able to enjoy the experience more. But it's also nice to have people in other air balloons if you don't mind them possibly blocking your view of Albuquerque. Either way, it's a wonderful experience and you'd only get this kind of excitement at the Balloon Fiesta. Feeling competitive? Why not try the contests? The Balloon Fiesta offers different competitions you can join in. The competitions usually involve hitting targets, contestants are up on an air balloon, then they'd have to drop markers on the targeted areas, and whoever has the marker closest to the target wins. You can try it if you can use a win or you could just do it for fun. There's also new technology developed that's an interactive game version of the actual competitions. 
It's designed for kids who are probably too young to be competing on a hot air balloon. So come to Albuquerque to witness the biggest balloon convention in the world. There's nothing like seeing hundreds of hot air balloons flying in, competing in contests, and watching the balloons glow like stars at night. Everyone who comes to visit ends up having fun and having lots of souvenir photos and surely so would you when you decide to visit. When the first week of October comes, you know where to go. Oktoberfest If you're a huge fan of beer, then you must have been anticipating for Oktoberfest. Well, it's a good thing that waiting for this time is worth it. Because beer would be flowing in your system for two weeks. Oktoberfest starts in mid-September to the first weekend of October. Oktoberfest's roots leads us to Munich, Germany. And it's a national holiday, so the entire country is going to be drenched in beer. Plus, other countries also observe the Oktoberfest celebration, and why not? Surely, there's no one who would refuse to a river of the best brewed beer that'll last for two weeks. The exact origins of Oktoberfest and the horse races are still debated about, but the repetition of the horse races celebrations and spectacles began the following year and is now the yearly Oktoberfest tradition. In the recent Oktoberfest celebrations, there are already huge fairs with exciting rides. Initially, the celebrations were all in October, but because the weather is finer and more stable in September, the celebrations started earlier. Even if Oktoberfest is celebrated all throughout Germany, nothing beats the beer in Bavaria. Beer brewers have been careful about the ingredients they use in order to maintain the high quality of beer ever since the 16th century. One of the oldest laws regarding food and drink was in 1516 decreed by Duke William IV. The decree orders that only water, barley, and hops should be used in brewing Bavarian beer. It appears that Bavarian beer brewers take this decree very seriously because the region's beer remains to be the best. And it's no surprise that Bavaria's capital city, Munich, is where the biggest beer festival and traveling funfair began. Even better, about 7.7 .7 million liters of high-quality beer are produced and consumed. Beer tents are open for 10 to 12 hours and imagine just how much you can drink if you were to stay all day. But of course, beer is going to taste much better if you have food. That's why you can also have roast chicken, roast pork, sausages, grilled fish, grilled ham hock, pretzels, potato dumplings, cheese noodles, red cabbage, and so much more. Be early in coming to beer tents because once the places are filled, they won't let people enter anymore. With mugs of the best beer in the world in your hands, you don't suppose you'll only be staying for a little while? But if you're not much of a drinker, don't force yourself to drink. There are still ways to enjoy Oktoberfest without having to drink too much beer. Remember that Oktoberfest is not just a beer fest, it's also a fun fair. There are amusement rides and games that would take more effort having courage to ride on than staying sober for one day. The rides are going to fill you with the adrenaline and screams of delight or fright. You should try the Super Coaster that will definitely disarrange the positions of your stomach and intestines inside your body. Just be careful, 
You have to know how many and which rides you can take because it's not fun getting dizzy, having headaches, or worse, making yourself sick. Now that you're in Oktoberfest, dress for the occasion. The Lederhosen and the Dirndl are often mistaken as German national costumes. They're not. These are just the traditional Oktoberfest outfits. It'd be nice to look like old school for once, and it would feel like you're really celebrating Oktoberfest when you're in Lederhosen or Dirndl. Now, put on that Lederhosen or Dirndl and celebrate Oktoberfest in Munich for the best beer you'll ever drink, ride the most mind-blowing rides in the fairs, and have a good taste of German food. Remember not to eat and drink too much if you can't. It's not a contest. It's about having a good time. So make the most out of the two weeks of Oktoberfest. Secret Garden the secret garden party, even if you say it quietly in your head, it sounds like a mystical, mysterious, and mythical gathering of special people. While it is a nice thought, the secret garden party is a chance for you to take a break from your stressful city life, so that's quite good enough. Picture this, a garden full of life in the midst of the English countryside, with great music to dance to, with a beautiful lake to swim in or to ride a boat on. It's time you see the magic of the Secret Garden Party, or SGP as the locals call it. It's located on the Mill Hill Field, Abbot Ripton, near Huntingdon in England. Every last weekend of July, people gather in this event to expect a great, maybe the best, weekend they'll have. But do not have expectations. Do not plan on what to do when you get to Mill Hill Field, because whatever happens this year will probably not happen next year. The only thing you should probably plan when you get there is where to prop up your tent. That's right, there is camping. Just prepare for the occasional rain and the aftermath of it. It's a four-day fancy dress event. For the non-British, it means it's a costume party, so pack some before you go to SGP. Put gem stickers on your face, use face paint. The more surreal you look, the better. You can also use headdresses and masks. Now, when you're satisfied with your look, sway to the gypsy music and get hyped with electronic music coming from the DJs. While you're jumping to the music, you'd get a chance to experience a mini Holly Festival experience because in SGP, they have what is called Paint Fight. The drill is simple. Get a handful of colored dye and throw it in the air. Or throw it at other people, as long as everyone in the venue is filthy and covered in colors. The organizers of the Secret Garden Party condemn anyone who creates trouble or puts other people in trouble. Of course, the objective of any festival is for people to have a great experience. So look after yourself to avoid inconvenience to anyone. If you see people in trouble, help them out. You may also see things that may seem bizarre to you, like nude people swimming or running around. That's okay, as long as they don't bother you or other people. There are ways to have fun in SGP without sacrificing how comfortable you are in doing the activities, so get going! Aside from the musical stages, there are action camps where any sort of action takes place. From jamming, to dancing, to partying, you can do anything fun. You can join and leave anytime, so it's a great opportunity to meet new friends and leave if you're already uncomfortable with what you're seeing. Because take note that any action can happen. So you're free to stay or go to another action camp. The Secret Garden Party's number one rule is decide your own life. Don't let another person run or rule you. 
It's your chance to let go and loosen up. Do what you want, as long as you don't get yourself in trouble. Never ever miss the burn. It's most likely that it's going to happen on the last night of SGP because they're burning the decorations and props by the lake. So by next year, SGP is having something new. So if you want to remember how the festival's amazing lake construction looked like, take photos of them before the decorations turn to ashes. But in SGP, the unexpected happens and this is just one of the bizarre things in this festival. After the lake decorations go down in flames, there's a beautiful fireworks display afterwards to probably cheer you up for being sad about the burnt decorations. So what are you still doing? Leave your stressful matters for a while and have a taste of the English countryside at the Secret Garden Party. You might even discover a part of yourself that you didn't know before in this four-day fun. Remember rule number one, decide your own life and don't let another person run or rule you. Now, go and do what you want to do. Leave no trash behind. Festivals are one of the messiest events and garner a month's worth of household trash in just one day. So do the organizers a favor. Do nature a favor. Pick up your trash and dispose them properly. Instead of buying a bottle of water, bring your own water containers. It's also a good idea to bring a few trash bags with you in case you can't find any trash cans nearby. Just because lots of people in festivals are not conscious of their trash doesn't mean you'll choose the convenient way and do the same. Set a good example for others. If you're going to festivals that may require you to camp, music festivals for instance, bring only what you really need. Instead of stuffing too much food and drinks in your bags, use your bag spaces for other important things. You can always buy food in the festival itself and the food stalls are guaranteed to be the best. Leave no things or trash behind as if you've never been to the festival. You're only supposed to leave fun and great memories and the promise to return to the festival's next edition. Those will be the only things appreciated by the organizers of the festival. If it makes you feel better, disposing your trash responsibly is good training to become a more responsible festival goer and more importantly, a more responsible person. Wouldn't it be great? You're having fun. At the same time, you're helping out. So come on, pick up that wrapper of the sandwich you had and the plastic water bottle you drank from and you know what to do with them. The celebration ends here, but the fun is not over. And we still have more festivities to look forward to. So recharge your energy and get ready for another adventure. We'll see you again on Festivals of the World. <laughs>